Okay, so I am Jim the Magic Hippie, and I am here to entertain you with a little bit of magic. Now, uh, magicians don't generally like to have people off to the sides because the angles get a little screwy, so if you see anything in the words of the late Earl Johnson, who is called Presto, keep your mouth shut. Okay. Yeah. Don't want to spoil it, you know? Oh, I think I got a, a rock in my shoe. Don't you just hate when that happens? There we go. <laughs> Mother Earth loves me, I suppose. Alright, I'll put this back here. Okay, you know when you try to pull a trick on someone or something, and they catch you, they say, oh man, that's the oldest trick in the book. No, it ain't. This is it. This is called the cups and balls, because there's cups and there's balls. There's three cups and three balls. My guru says it's the oldest trick in the world because it was on uh, in, in ancient Egypt. My guru is normally right about these things, except when he's wrong, which is occasionally. Anyway, as you can see, the ball disappeared. Let's take another one here, a little tap. That one's gone too. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that happens. And there they are. Now, it started out with three cups and three balls. Now I just got three cups. By the way, which you can buy in the back for four, uh, $5 a piece. Uh, but now, of course, the balls are going to go where they feel safe, right? They go to shelter. Now let me tell you something about how this actually works. You see, it's a little thing about reality. It's all in the Watch this. Solids don't exist. They just go straight through each other if you don't buy into it. Like that. In fact, it's not just limited to one cup. It can go straight through two of them if you want. Bam. Right through there. So, this is one of my favorite tricks because it's so old, but you know all tricks must end eventually. There's more to the act than that, uh, trust me on that one. But I gotta put this one away. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't remember what the rest of my act was gonna be, so I think I'll use, there's a crystal ball just appeared. No, that one's too cloudy, that one's too small. That's another sponge ball. Let me get rid of that. There we go. Right there. That'll help. Okay. Oh, I remember now. Okay. All right. I see it. Let me write that down. That's going to be neat. Okay. Got a card here. This will be cool. Yeah. Let's see. Put that down there. Nobody look at it because that'll spoil the trick. Um, I like to play cards. I don't play them a lot, but I play war from time to time. Only in my version, there's no fighting. The cards just all get sharpies and they make themselves into protest signs. It's great. Can I get a volunteer? Anybody help me out with this? How about you? You want to come up here? This is a normal deck of cards. You can see that left the jokers in because, well, I'm a joker. We've got 52 different cards and two of the same, which are the jokers. All right, I'm going to go riffle through the side here. You just say stop wherever you want. Ready? Stop. Excellent. All right, take your card. All right, show it around. Make sure everyone sees it. All right, make sure the camera sees it. Okay. All right, very good. All right, put it back here. Now, have you ever heard of extrasensory perception? No? Okay, well, basically it's when you see things with your mind. It's basically psychic power, all right? Now, my friend is really into ESP. He tells me everybody's got ESP, but not everyone knows how to use it. So I'm going to do an experiment. First of all, this isn't your card, right? Okay, good. 
Uh, I need you to hold out your hand like this, like that, with, with your fist closed and your thumb out like that, a little lower, right there, all right, like that, and hold on to that, all right. As I go through here, I need you to just stick in the corner. All right, hold on to that. Don't let go. All right. This is an experiment. It doesn't always work. Is that your car? Aces are wild, man. What was your car? <laughs> right? What was your car? No way, man. Three of clubs? Clover's clubs. I think that's what you're talking about. That's, that's what the crystal ball told me. Look. Right there. Oh, what's that you're holding there? <laughs> you know what? Let me show you something with the sponge balls, right? I, I put away the sponge balls. Now this is this is going to be great because you are going to see what I'm doing. All of you are going to see what I'm doing, but he's not going to see what I'm doing. All right? Come here. Come here. He's going to help me out with this. Take out the sponge ball right here. All right? And put it in this hand. You see it? Watch. It disappears. And it's not here. It's not here. It's still here. See that? We do it really slow, very slowly. Alright? See, it's gone. It just disappeared like that. So, you know what? There it is. Put it in here again, and this time I'm going to hit it. <laughs> hit it? Did you see where it went? Nope. Okay, let me try it again. Let me try it again. You guys can, you know, you, you laugh and it's enough, but don't, don't tell him where it is and don't look at it directly because he'll, he'll get the tip, all right? So very slowly, going to put it in here. See that? Right up there. And it's gone. And it's not here. It's not here. And it's not here. But it's still here. <laughs> so I put it in here. And I hit it. And I, did you see it go? They saw it go. Look behind you. <laughs> Thank you very you know what? I don't know, I've got a different volunteer. Thank you very much. Alright. So as you see here. You can go ahead back to your seat if you want. Alright. I don't want to keep you here. That's the thing. I want to make sure he's got his freedom. Everybody needs freedom. Freedom is the main thing. One of my main goals in life. So I need someone to play the part of the oppressive establishment. You? How about you? All right. Okay. We're going to need... Actually, I'm, I'm going to sit there. All right. <laughs> okay. You're oppressing. All right. So I'm going to pull this around here. And you just pull that really tight right there. Don't hold back. All right. And put my hands in there like that and just tie it up. Tight as you want. No, no special knots. Just normal knot. If you want a, if you want a special knot, that's good too. But you know, that's probably gonna come right out like that. Yeah, just terrible. Just, <laughs> just double up what you already did. You know, if if you do what you already got there again, that'll do. All right. Yeah. Okay, I need to borrow like a, a, a cloth of some sort. Maybe uh, your your hoodie would be perfect. Could you take that for me? Could I borrow that? <laughs> I, mean... I, I still need you. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> yep, he got stopped it. it. Okay, good work. All right, you just put that on top of there, right there. All right, make sure it's a little higher like that. It's got to <laughs> got to cover everything. And make sure I'm still tied up first. Okay, make sure I'm still tied up. You, yeah, still there. Still there. Yeah, still tied up. Okay, try it one more time. All right, we're done. <laughs> All right. That's my show. I just want to credit uh, James Randi and uh, and Earl Presto Johnson for their contributions to my style, and maybe the uh, Egyptian god Osiris because I think he's the guy who came up with the cups and balls. But other than that, yeah. Thank you very much.